In this video, I'd like to demonstrate how to do two color printing when you've only got one extruder. I have to admit I was inspired to do this by a video from Make Anything, which I will link in the uh, description below. His video is extremely good and he's extremely talented at what he does, but I did find it a little bit complex. He uses uh, Illustrator and various other methods to get this to work, and he also uses Simplify 3D as the slicer. And not many people use Simplify 3D anymore, so I'm going to do it in a simple method, and I'm going to use Prusa Slicer. Here we see the model that I'm going to print. It's a badge holder, and I'm going to print the white and blue in PET G. Now, here we have the model in Blender. I'll take it out of this view so we can see it a bit more clearly. And we have two objects. We have the main body of the badge, and we have the logo as a separate object. If I turn the main body off for a moment, you can see that the separate object is actually just the logo. And if I look at the details of this object, you can see that it has a Z height of 0 0.2, it says meters here, but it's actually millimeters. Now there's a reason for this. With two color printing, you can only really get away with having one layer in one color and the rest in the other color. Now uh, I'm going to use a 0 0.2 millimeter layer height in my print, and so this is 0 0.2 millimeters high. Now if I bring in the main body of this badge again and turn off the logo, you will see that there is a hole in this and this is also 0.2 millimeters in high. And it's cut into the badge and the logo fits exactly into it. Now I have to admit I didn't actually do this in Blender. You could do it in Blender uh, without much problem, but the dimensional accuracy of much of this was very important. Therefore, I actually did it in Fusion 360, exported both of these objects as STLs and imported them into Blender. In any case, whether using Fusion 360 or Blender or whatever, the basic rule is the same. You make your logo one layer high and you make a hole in the other part of your model, which is also exactly one layer high. Just demonstrate that again turn the logo off turn the logo on no there we have it now what we do is we export these as separate objects okay so I'll just go into whatever mode this is called and select the main body of the badge and file export as STL I'll call this part one press selection only export STL and now we select the logo file export as STL and we'll call this part two or part three but I think part two probably be better although I can't hit two part two dot STL Selection only, export STL. So here we are in Prusa Slicer. The idea here is to print the logo first, change the filament to one with a different color, and then print the badge directly on top of it. Obviously they both have to align, and the logo, which is one layer high, will fit precisely into the hole we made into the badge, which is one layer in depth. So here we go. First I'll load in the logo, which for some reason is part two. And there it is. So we should be able to print that. And then we want to print the badge directly over the top of it. So let's load in the badge, part one. And there you go. However, if we look at it closely, we can see that the hole that we created in the badge doesn't align correctly with the logo. So if we printed the logo and then printed the badge on top of it, 
it would all come out looking a bit of a mess. So this is not the way to do it. So let's start again. Whoops. Remove these that, and that. I'm going to do it this way instead. Load in the first object. There we go. And then click on it. Right click on it. Add part. Load. And then the part one. Now if we put that over the top of it. And now look. They align perfectly. So basically, now we want it to slice just the logo and export that G code, and then slice just the badge and export that G code too. There may be a better way of doing this in Prusa Slicer, but this works for me. First of all, I want to select the badge. And I'm going to try and turn it off. And the only way I found to do this is to right click on it, layers and perimeters, and set them to zero. Now we should turn the infill to zero as well at this point because we want nothing to be printed from the badge. So if I slice now, I get just the logo. You also get this loop around it and you probably don't want that when you're printing the logo because the badge might print right on top of it so I will actually turn that off print settings skirt and brim loops zero slice it again and there you have it now we need to export this g-code I already had it there. Okay, and now we want to do the same thing but with just the badge. So let's go back here. Turn off the layers and perimeter change we made before. I'm basically going to do that to the logo instead. So let's select the logo. It's easier doing it out there. Right click, layers and perimeter, remove them. Now you can put your infill back in if you need it. This model actually doesn't. But in theory now, if we slice, we should get the badge. And if we look down through the layers, to the bottom, there's the hole. That should fit nicely over the logo. So now we export that G-code as well. call that part one so there you have it we should now have two g-code files one just of the logo and the second just of the badge so now all you need to do is load in your two g-code files and print the logo first and then print the badge here I am printing several logos and here I am printing the badges over the top of them. And here we have the finished badge.